Hey everyone, I'm Ethan Webster. A lot of you probably know me as Daily Dry Fire on Instagram. Dry Fire for over 500 days. Today we are looking at the Mantis X system for the pistol. So what's really cool about the Mantis X is that you can either attach the module to your Picatinny rail on your pistol or you can put it on the bottom of the magazine if you're drawing from your holster, that is. So we just slide this on here and it clicks in place. We're just gonna push the button on the bottom of the module. I'm gonna click connect on the app. So now we're going to do what I usually do on all my dry fire stuff, which is holster draw analysis. All right, so to start off, we're going to do open training on here. It's gonna give us a really good baseline on what we should probably maybe train a little bit more for the day. All right, here we go. Fifty five point one pushing no fall here. The grip was terrible on that one. So that kind of makes sense. It's a lot better. We're 67 tightening grip. I agree. Felt really good, but it's giving me <laughs> it's telling me that was not good. Anticipating recoil healing. So I did, when I did come through, I did feel kind of myself pushing down and it does tell you that in real time, which is pretty incredible. So let's try and just do, we're gonna slow it down a little bit. I think we're trying to go a little bit too fast here and we'll, we'll see how we do. So that was an 85.9. So as you can see, I need to slow down a little bit, even though my shot might be on target, my follow through, my recoil control probably wouldn't be there in live fire. Let's try it again. Terrible draw. 63.4 breaking wrist up and I I agree <sighs> tightening grip agree <sighs> 5.7 that was way off here we go <sighs> all right that was a lot better perfect all right, so not my best performance, I will say, but that's a whole part of dry fire, right? We do this now so we can analyze how we can get better. So if we come over to the app, we can actually see in real time or after we do it on all of these shots, how well we're doing on our coming up from the holster, the blue line. We can see that we're usually coming up right to where we need to. And then you can see on some of those wild shots that we're really searching for that target. That's the yellow line. So the yellow line is searching for the target. X is where we break. And then the red is after the travel after we break that shot. So what I'm gonna do now is reset. We're gonna clean all that data up and then we're gonna try again. I'm gonna slow down the time a little bit. I'm not gonna push speed as much. I'm gonna really try to focus on a clean trigger break, a clean presentation and see how those scores change. So again, a little bit slower speed, but probably a lot more accurate, better scores. That's what we're going for here. 77. 32, but I had a bad grip, so we'll try again. 76. Oh, what's really cool is I, I can have this screen on where it's analyzing every shot as I take it. I can see if I'm actually coming up right to where I need to and breaking the shot instead of coming up way above the target and trying to settle, which I was doing before. So in real time, I can see if I'm actually improving or not. And I can see my shot score has been a lot more consistent in the upper 70s here. That one, not so much. 92, probably my highest score. And as you can see, I came up right to the target. Didn't need to find it because I was at the target. You can see that yellow line really just kind of fished in an X formation that we broke the shot. Here we go. 84, again, we can see the blue line coming right up to where we need to. Not a lot of fishing breaking the shot and a lot of after 
travel either. 57, tried to push a little too much. 76. So here we go. That was 10 more shots. And as you can see, after that last round, my scores were consistently more higher and more consistent, which is awesome. Awesome feedback, especially when dry firing. A lot of times we don't get that feedback because we always think, eh, my dot was on target. I had a good trigger press. I didn't see a lot of flinch in the dot. But this allows us to see how we presented to the target, how we presented to our intended target, how we fished for that target, and then what we did after that to see how well we're actually doing and how it's a little bit better analysis of how that would transfer over into live fire. So for somebody getting right into dry fire, I think this is a super valuable tool, right? There's a lot of road bumps that a lot of us need to go over when we're first starting out training with, our, with either our carry gun, competition gun, whatever it may be. And what's nice about this is you get immediate feedback. We don't have to go back and watch tape. We don't have to set up ourselves filming, which I do every day. We don't have to see if we're actually doing something wrong. We can see it in real time and see visually what we need to work on. So that's super critical in order to get better. You can't get better with dry fire or get better at shooting without seeing what you need to improve. So what's cool about the Mantis X is that we get that real time feedback we get to see exactly what we need to change, and we get to see exactly how much change we need to enact on that in order to get better.